I regret standing here and telling you that I was only able to grow my dad's business from a four to a $60 million business because the reality is I messed up. It's funny to say this in Vegas. I don't play poker, but there's one core thing I understand. When you mathematically understand, because you know how to play the game, that you have the best hand, you strategically go all in. You can maybe goat them in, but nonetheless, you go all in. From, 19, from 2000 to 2003, in marketing, I had the best hand. I knew something called Google AdWords existed. I was running ads on it for five and 10 cents a click for every wine word, while every other wine store in the country still was making catalogs and didn't understand what happened. But I didn't put enough money into it. I staggered out my dollars into direct mail and local television and full page ads in the Star Ledger and New York Times and Wall Street Journal and it was great and those things worked too but I had the best hand. And I sit here with a lot of regret which is why I stand in front of you today because Google was sales, it was intent based. You typed in Cabernet, I showed up. Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, it's brand. It's more like television. If you know who you're targeting, if you know you're targeting somebody who's single on January 1st to January 10th and you're running your ads and you want their gym membership, you know what copy to write and what image to show them because you have unlimited data of knowing their psychology, not just their demographics, and you know that the amount of consumption that's actually seen in your feeds on Facebook and Instagram is actually high for now, for now, over the next decade, we will get tired of these feeds because we get tired of everything and we will treat them just like television commercials. I do not care about the future of these platforms. I care about the attention of Americans and people around the globe today. Are there international people here? International? So international crew, all this propaganda coming out of my mouth, it's an even better deal outside the US because the sophistication of the media spend on Facebook and Instagram in Asia, South America, UK, it's that, I mean, I opened a London and a Singapore office because I just can't believe how underpriced it is to drive business results. This is the moment. This is the moment. And this is, the cat's already out of the back. The, the Gym Sharks and the Fashion Novas and the Lolas, they've already started building enormous companies. Like, we are now in the middle of this phenomenon on these platforms. We're only three, four, I don't know the exact timing, two, four, six years away from this starting to decline. But the Delta, the delta between where your marketing dollars are going to drive results versus this is staggering. And I sit up here not pontificating. I have multiple QSR clients where we do hardcore a beats testing where they run their traditional television and radio and outdoor and we run our Facebook, we hold out stores, we hold out regions and for three years in their face we've been proving this is better and still it's difficult for them to fully commit because humans don't like change. The humans in here the most vulnerable are the ones who've been doing well and are doing well. I'm most scared of the people sitting here saying, yeah, this sounds right-ish, but we're doing great. I love when people are like, Gary, that's all good, but we're up 13%. And I'm like, what's wrong with 40%, dick? 